Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this Brinkman camp oven. So after I did the video with my uh, Coleman fold-up oven, I had a lot of people ask me about this one. Um, this is the one that I mentioned in the video. Um, this is from Brinkman. I believe that's a Walmart brand. Um, I picked this up in 2004. And I think it was a Walmart clearance deal. I forget what I paid for it, but it was under $40. Anyway, um, this is a much heavier, much larger version of a camp oven. But it's very well made. You got some of that uh, nice thick wrinkle paint coating on the front. If you look on the inside here, you have two trays, and these trays do come out. You just have to lift them out. They ride in tracks on either side. Your burner is at the bottom here, and you can kind of see it if you pick this piece up. It's down at the bottom. I'm going to bring you in to look at it. And there's a little spark generator there, so you got your, uh, your spark if you need to. You don't have to throw a match down there and light it. Although you can, it does work. Uh, and it comes with your little side attachment for your one pound propane bottles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this set up, bring it up to temperature, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Now, something about this that I've noticed compared to the um, Coleman oven. The Coleman oven, you're basically cooking on an open flame, be it a propane stove or whatever. With this, you actually have a regulator on here, so it's a little easier to control your temperature. Um, this is kind of heavy. I would estimate about 15 pounds. I don't have the specs on it. Um, the manual basically is full of safety warnings. It doesn't tell me anything about it. So I'm going to uh, hook it up, set it up, and uh, we'll come back when it's up to temperature and we'll put some biscuits in and try cooking them. All right, got it working. Um, something interesting, and this is another reason why it's good to test your gear. On the side where the regulator plugs in, um, the little nipple that sticks out to push the other had a bunch of dust and crud in it. And I kept plugging the regulator in, and no gas was coming out. And once I cleaned that out, it worked perfectly. So it is good to test your gear. I will admit I probably haven't used I actually used this to bake something um, a while back, and I haven't used it since. And that was probably you know, six, seven years ago. And it's just sat in my garage. So anyway, we're getting up to temperature. Once we hit 400, I'm going to put the uh, biscuits in, and I'll show you the results. All right, we're at 400. I'm going to put these in. They take about anywhere from 10 to 13 minutes. So, I'm going to go check the time inside, and uh, we'll see what they look like when they come out. And now you get a quick idea of how simple this is to use. Again, it's, uh, it's a heavy item. It's definitely a uh, bug out location, uh, car camping, maybe if you had a tiny home with good ventilation. I wouldn't want to use this indoors. You know, I have my side, uh, I have my side uh, door open here for ventilation. Um, I'm not smelling any fumes, but still, propane inside is still kind of iffy in these little guys. But um, it's definitely a neat little thing. It's just very heavy and kind of big and bulky. So we're going to wait about 10 minutes, and we're going to come back and uh, see what we got. All right. Been uh, about 12 minutes, and I peeked in a few minutes ago. They look done to me, so I'm going to shut this off. There we go. It's completely off. I'm going to pull them out and let you take a look. There you go. They look good to me. A little, uh, a little nice and crispy on the bottom. Probably because I put a little butter in the pan. But they look pretty darn good to me. So, I'll stick that there for now. This is the Brinkman Camping Oven. This is it here. I don't think it's made anymore. I think if you want these, you're going to have to look on uh, in the used markets on eBay and stuff. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I've used it, as I said, one other time before to, uh, I think it was, I think I baked a pie in it, just to see if it worked. And that was years ago, so again, good idea to keep testing your equipment, even if you just put it together and run it for a minute. Um, I had a problem with the uh, regulator on the side here. Um, I'll bring you over to what it looks like. If you see over there where it goes in, the nipple that sticks out that pushes it to let the gas flow was completely clogged up with dust and dirt and just all sorts of stuff. And uh, thought I'd have to get a new regulator. I thought I'd have to cancel the video. So anyway, got it working. No big deal. And that's how it works. It's pretty good. I wouldn't, 
um, bake anything for over 400 in it. I mean, I had this on full blast and it got to about 415. That was the highest I could get it. So, I mean, again, it's not going to be, you know, something you're baking something at 500, but there's not much that you're going to be going that high with anyway. So anyway, there's the result. That's the Brinkman camping oven. For those of you that wanted to see it, I know I got a lot of requests for people that wanted to check it out and, uh, see what I was talking about. It is a little bit bigger. It's kind of a heavy oven, but it definitely works. Definitely does the job. So, uh, Thanks for watching. I got a bunch of new stuff coming up soon. I am working on a pack for my uh, go bag for my ham radio or cert stuff. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to show you on that. So make sure you uh, subscribe. And if you want to get notified when the videos come up, right down here is a little bell. Click on that bell. Click on email notifications. And you will know every time I upload a video. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.